car get dough I can't get no sleep, which make my life more simple But I wouldn't trade a thing for what I have I go hard, do what I need to make it last They say the good die young, I hope I'm bad Cheers to my past Okay, welcome to Outlaw Woodworking So these, these are my garages right here. And I decided to build my own garages. And originally my idea was I would, I would skin these with wood. But recently, and basically each door, each door takes four and a half sheets of plywood and then a whole lot of cedar trim. And what I realized after pricing out all the all the wood to skin these things. And I'll show you a picture of, of what I wanted it to look like. But um, I realized it would be cheaper to actually skin the inside. So what I'll do is I'll leave these aluminum frames and then skin the inside with the actual aluminum. And it was cheaper than doing wood. Um, so today we're gonna go pick up the aluminum. I had some, I had it cut for these garage doors and we'll start installing them. Yeah, let's get started. Just a little backstory on the garage doors. Originally, I got a quote from a garage door company to do regular roll-up doors, which is kind of what I wanted, but um, it was right before the inflation started coming up when I got the quote. And the original quote was $25,000, give or take. And, um, which was fine. I was actually prepared to do that. And then, um, and then what happened was um, I poured the whole foundation that first spring and then, um, and then let it sit. And then the next spring, which is this spring, I framed it <clears throat> and I called the garage door company and I said, hey, it's been a year. Could you, um, could you check the prices on those garage doors and give me a new quote? Because I've, I've got it all framed and you know I'm ready to get the price. And they emailed me back a quote of $65,000. And basically, um, you know, it wasn't that I couldn't afford to pay that much. It, it just, that was just a ridiculous increase in those garage doors. So I quickly thought about it and um, decided, shit, I'm gonna, I, I could do barn doors. They won't be as, you know, they won't be as easy in the winter time, but I don't, you know, I don't really go in and out of there that much in the winter. I probably only use one door during the winter just to um, get my truck out or the snow or the snow plow. And um, so I started doing research and I decided, well, shit, I'm gonna, I could, you know, I could make these aluminum frames and, um, then I could skin it with wood, and basically, this is the picture that I originally wanted it to look like, which was skin and, and wood and um, trim. Kind of looked look looked like a western barn door. Anyway, so I figured out what I wanted to do, and I, I bought the best hardware for the barn doors, and um, and installed that. And then I had my brother-in-law. He um, he's pretty good at welding aluminum. So I said, you know, I'm gonna make these frames out of aluminum so they'll last forever, they'll be lightweight, won't be a lot of stress on the overhead track. And um, so I had those weld welded up in Montana and I went up and got those and installed those. And that's what you see here right now. And so the idea was that I would build these aluminum frames, I would skin them with, with like a half inch plywood tongue and groove sustainable plywood and then I would trim trim it with a like a one by six or one by eight cedar resawn cedar trim it all up to look like you know a really nice western barn door well I get the aluminum frames done get those installed and um, the next thing is to purchase the wood to skin them so I call my local guy and um, the, the plywood was a hundred dollars a sheet for the plywood that I wanted 
which was ridiculous for tongue. You know, you're talking, um, you know, T111 siding, basically. It's just a cheap plywood. And um, it was like $100 a sheet. And then I found it, and then I found it at another place um, for 75 So it got down to like 75 And then I started pricing out the one by six cedar to trim it and I needed 12 foot long boards because that's how big these garage doors are they're 12 feet and they wanted $40 for each board and I needed a shitload of boards I have four of these 12 by 12 doors so I started calculating out all the wood and that turned out to be a lot of money it was um, like more than 1200 in plywood and then Another, I think another thousand worth of cedar to trim it all out and um, it wasn't horrible but I I started thinking well what are my options and um, I started thinking about it and I'm like hey what if I just what if I didn't trim it out at all what if I skinned the inside of it in aluminum and um, you know, I could eventually powder coat it, or I could eventually um, just paint it any color, or I could leave it bare aluminum. And um, actually, the more I looked at it, the more I thought, "Shit, I wonder how. I wonder what it would be like just to leave it bare aluminum." Although I'm not sure how that would weather, um, so I might end up having to paint it anyway. But we'll have to see. So anyway, I priced out the aluminum, and the aluminum to do. Um, I went and checked on the gauge of the aluminum, and I found that uh, 1 16th gauge aluminum was actually pretty pretty stiff, and um, the, the openings in my garage doors are only about, they're less than four feet by four feet openings, the little squares. So I thought it'd be easier for me to handle this aluminum if I had it cut, um, that way I wasn't, you know, handling these big sheets like 4 by 12 sheets so I had a local company cut it so all this aluminum ended up costing me I think $2,500 which I started thinking about the wood and the cedar and you know how it was gonna how it was gonna um, weather weather during the winter when snow gets you know and when it's snowing on it and and I just started thinking about it and I was like, you know, I'm going to try, I'm not going to do the wood, I'm going to put this aluminum skin on and um, it's going to be lightweight so it won't be, it'll be easy on the doors and later on if I, if I do want to trim it out, I can still do that, it, it, you know, it's not either or. So, and the aluminum backing will be nice actually even if I do decide to trim it out in wood later on which I, I still might do the aluminum backing allows me to put insulation in between in between the wood skin and the, and the back of the garage doors so so all in all you know originally these guys wanted 65,000 and right now you know of course I'm doing all the labor myself but I've got about $2,000 in track hardware. I've got $10,000 in building the aluminum frames. That includes the material and, and the labor. And then I've got another $2,500 in this aluminum skin. So all out, I'm gonna be, and then I bought some self-tapping screws, um, some aluminum ones to basically put all this stuff on. So all in all, going to be into these if I just if I just st stay with the aluminum I'll be into the whole thing for fifteen thousand dollars so and, and they actually they slide really nice I think I'll have a little trouble in the winter with the snow I'm sure um, because down at my shop I don't have a like up at my house I have a snow melt driveway system so I don't have to do any shoveling up at my house but I think down here at the shop having to um, go down there and keep the snow away from the front of the garage doors and uh, we'll have to see how that works anyway uh, I am headed to the metal yard right now to pick up this aluminum and 
yeah and then i'll see you back at the shop and we'll start putting it on okay so i just picked up the metal um they got a lot of a lot of cool stuff in here but um yeah it was nice they had it all on a forklift or on a pallet they just forked it in the back of my trailer so hopefully i should be able to use my tool cat to unload it when i get back this place is a scrap yard too it's like a metal scrap yard and um, also they sell uh new new metal also safety first i guess um yeah this is a this is where i usually get my metal from um it's the only place close to me that um i can order stuff or they they stock a little a lot of square tubing and stuff like that so yeah Anyway, I will see you back at the house and we will start start unloading this. years later. Okay, so total screws, 1,142 screws. And uh, yeah, that's a lot of screws. Anyway, uh, let me show you what it looks like on the outside. Okay, here it is. What's cool about the aluminum is it actually came with this plastic sheeting on it. And I think I'm gonna leave that on for a while. Um, yeah, it seems to be, uh, it'll protect the aluminum for a little while longer while I'm doing the rest of my siding. Anyway, yeah, this, these are uh, solid, solid aluminum frame doors with, with aluminum backing. And uh, yeah, they work. They roll really nice. Very little effort. I'm gonna actually put a, a, a power roller on one of them. Probably the one, probably this one. This is the one I park my truck in. Anyway, thank you very much for watching the video. And I will see you next time. Later. Get dough. I can't get no sleep, this make my life more simple.